It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, you guys, we are moving right along in January. And as of right now, the girls are still keeping it peaceful a little bit. So we don't have a lot to discuss today, but we got some stuff to discuss, okay? But before we get into that, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Manny Love. Hey, bitch. Manny, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. It means so much to me. You were the first to comment on my Twitter page, and I greatly appreciate that. So what I am doing is I'm taking the time out to show you that I appreciate you and uh, continue to love and support me, baby, and I will love and support you, okay? Hey, bitch. All right. Well, I ain't going to hold y'all up. We can get into y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit. The sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in some shit. First with the sugar honey iced tea, we have Sunia. Now, I don't want to say I told y'all, but... I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. Y'all thought I was playing, but I told y'all niggas. told y'all. Y'all better believe it. Yeah, we predicted this a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a month ago when she was going back and forth on the internet about, you know, the family issues and I was saying word on the curb was we were speculating that she was throwing shots at his family because she had overheard some stuff going on. Well, come to find out, honey, she is pregnant and so congratulations to Jania. I hope the best for her. And is it the one take, the John take, whatever take? I hope the best for them too because what the world on the curve was giving like this might be a bumpy little roll. So, um, yeah, child, I wish them the best. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, I told y'all she was having a baby. Next cake. Next with the honey iced tea, we have NBA Young Boy and Jasmine. So, this is crazy. She done got a baby on the way. Now he about to get married. Where is y'all, y'all? I know she out there stabbing the ass somewhere. She over it, cause this girl really tried to kill somebody over this man and she was running around screaming she was the wife and all this other stuff come to find out, girl. You was just the ring chest. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Better luck next time. <laughs> Maybe, they is a, maybe this is a trial and error where he can test it out and if he don't like it, he can send it back. I don't know, but as of right now, she is the one that won his heart over. So, shouts out to her, shouts out to him, and we wish them the best. Word on the curb is they saying he's still gonna cheat and gonna have a baby on the way, so I hope not, because I like this girl. She stay out the way, she don't bother nobody, and uh, I hope we do her well, because, you know, I do believe he is a good-hearted person. He just got a lot of finding himself to do. All right, well, we want to send our condolences to Yaya. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep things. Okay. Next to the Shigani Ice Tea, we have Asian Doll. Um, it's a new year. <laughs> Back on the same shit. So Asian Doll decided to go to her social media and she posted, not drinking or smoking 2023. Let's get it. She also said, I show mad love all 2022 and helped a lot of people without asking for anything in return. So this year, I want to be more to myself. This will be personal for me. I'm just focused on me and my family and that's it. And I'm just to the point now, like, why you keep announcing everything? Just do it. Because everything you say you don't do, so just do it. At this point, you could have just wrote that in your journal. <laughs> okay, do you got a vision board? Put that on your vision board. But we are asking to please remove us 
<laughs> the group chat. Lose our number, block us something. Because we're tired. We, we're tired. We dealt with it all 2022. We don't have time for it this year. So not even a day. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Not even a day later. <laughs> Asian goes, God damn it. Asian goes to her social media and she posts, nobody said they fucked me, but the internet calling me a hoe. Suck my dick. First of all, are you, you're supposed to be focused on you. Why do you care about anybody calling you a hoe? That's your first mistake. Second, ma'am, you don't have a dick. <laughs> what are we sucking? It's just at this point, at this point, choose peace. <laughs> choose peace. Meditate. Pray. Something. I ain't never seen somebody so angry every day. There's not a day you wake up and just be grateful. <laughs> you, you don't want to be grateful. <laughs> at this point, at this point, leave me, leave me alone. You are harassing us. You're harassing us. That's what you're doing. It's harassment at this point. Can we put a restraint on that? But anyway, it's 2023. We need to go on and wrap this up. This behavior <laughs> needs to wrap it up. Okay, let's not take this into February. This is gonna be the last month we hear about this, all this arguing, because you said this year was about you, focused on you, and it's a, it's a year for you. So let's, I mean, if she ain't even care, if it ain't about me, <laughs> let's get it. Okay. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Crystal versus Tay. Now, baby, this is actually really childish, but there's a concern that I'm worried about. All this is going on, but I don't think anybody is paying attention to why this is going on. Maybe Tay is probably a bitter girlfriend, but what I've always learned to realize is when somebody is doing something like this to get your attention or causing drama, that ex is still talking to them. That ex still whispering in their ear and giving them sweet nothings on that pillow. I'm telling you because ain't no way I'm gonna sit here and cause all this confusion over somebody that's not even mine or that don't even care about me. So what do y'all think in the comments? Y'all think they still mixing and mingling on the low? Because it just ain't adding up to me. And y'all know I'm usually always right. But anyway, let's get into the mess. So Crystal had made a challenge on TikTok. After she made her challenge, Tay came back and mimicked it, but she added some fighting punches at the end. Now, Crystal took that as her trying to be funny, like you doing my challenge, first of all, I don't even like you, I got your ex-girlfriend. But then you added them punches like you trying to say, bitch, what's up, let's get it. So she didn't stop there. She went to her Twitter. She was like, I'm the wrong person to start with because I'm gonna wanna fight. And baby, I understand because that's me too. I'm not gonna sit here and do all this back and forth on the internet. Just give me a time, place, and let's end this right now. Let's stop arguing and cut to the chase and shut up, weirdo. And <laughs> she went up and stopped my girl hair and talking about they be tall as shit because they held me. <laughs> because they held me. And she said, girl, you know what? Let's just stop all this. You know we stay. Pull up, bitch. <laughs> So, I mean, I get it. Like, bitch, I'm at the place where you used to be at. So, girl, you know where it is. You know where all this. Stand on your word, getting this feel. So, people were going on the internet saying, girl, I don't think it was intentional. I don't believe she knew it was yours. She don't even be on the internet like that. And y'all, nah, when you go on TikTok and you click that thing, it shows you who created the dance. And if hers was going viral, I'm sure she saw that that girl made that. Let's not sit here and play like we don't know, okay? I We know when somebody's throwing subliminal shade, baby, and that was subliminal shade. So then they both send another video towards each other, and this is what they did. Oops, got your bitch. Want her back? Come on down to JC Penny and throw some fun hands. These hands are really E for everyone. Got another show, she ain't nothing like me. Yeah, got to crush another fight. 
the bottom. Child, that girl knew what she was doing. She was being very much. That's what she was being. So y'all. I, I'm waiting to see what's gonna happen. Let's see if she stand up on her word. Let's see if she try to throw them hands like she was doing that video. But hey, if they wanna fight over her strap fingers in the tongue, then <laughs> y'all. <laughs> y'all do what you do. Jazz, you must really be out there putting it down. Word of her is they said, why is she out there fighting for everything but her son to live with her? That's what. <laughs> That's what the word. Word on Kurt, man. So I ain't got nothing to do with it. Y'all girls is messy out here in these streets. But I ain't gonna say nothing. I just feel like if somebody's ex will get you out of body like that, then your spot not secure. And that goes back to what I said. I feel like them two is mixing and mingling behind the scenes. But anyway, if it ain't about me, you better watch Jazzy. Next cake. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Soldier Boy. Now, Soldier Boy has been on a roll. I don't know what has gotten into him. Word on the curb. <laughs> It's the cocaine. <laughs> anyway, he has been on a roll lately, literally. And, uh, and, uh, word of the curve. And, um, he went off on people last week about being gay and all that other stuff. And there was no real men in the rap community. And now, this time, he went off on Tory Lanez about... You know, and other rap people about their responses to Megan being shot and then Tori using his beats, and this is what he had to say. Any that shooter is a term. Y'all niggas, y'all rappers is hoes. Y'all straight sit, sit there, watch that man shoot, and y'all ain't say shit. Y'all lame as Y'all ain't say shit. Y'all let that man shoot that. Tory Lane. I know the real Tory Lane. You don't like it, I'll beat the shit out of him. I don't get it. Yeah, boy. And I feel disrespected. Don't never get on one of my beats rapping on. I'm tired of you niggas stealing my swag, rapping on my beats, rapping off my flow, rapping up, man. Get up, man. Get the f out of your bitch ass in jail now. That's what I'm saying. Don't be rapping on my beats, bro. Do you see me rapping on your bitch ass beats? You talking about First of all, <laughs> let me just say, let me just say this. You're a little tardy for the party. <laughs> the, the case is over. So you're late in here, Stacey Dash. <laughs> Catch up. You're late. You're, about, you're behind. Where was all this energy when it was going on? But now you want to talk. And then on top of that, how you taking up for her? But then you said he shot that bitch. Sir, you didn't think to say woman, lady, Megan? <laughs> Point. Take a nap. And then word on the curb is, are you only saying something because he used your beat, so now you want to throw in the Megan situation? I'm just, we're just trying to figure out and follow the agenda here. We want to know what's going on because it should have stayed on just Megan and the situation, but then you had to throw you in the mix. So we trying to follow you, sir. That's all that's all we saying. No, no don't fight us because <laughs> you're on go. <laughs> but can we talk to you? Come here. Part of the curb is they didn't forget about what you did to me yet. <laughs> but that ain't none of my business, okay? We're gonna leave that alone. Anyway! But we're gonna leave that alone because what I heard, word on the curb is he don't care about nobody. This is just another opportunity for him to go viral. And y'all know that's what he do. Oh, okay. If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Okay! All right. That's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, I get we have Kai versus Jody. All right, and this is crazy because you can actually have different opinions on this situation. So we're gonna let y'all debate about it in the comments. But what we gotta do is we gotta talk about it. So a woman named Jovi is is alleging that she was raped by um, one of Kai's alleged high school friends at a New York party that he invited her to. So where the mess comes in at, you know, besides him 
allegedly raping her. When she was asking Kai who the guy was and to identify him, he was acting like he didn't know who he was, giving her the runaround. But then when she came up with pictures, he was just like, I I'm working on it. I'm trying to get both the stories. Woo, woo, woo. So anyway, so she goes to her Twitter and she shows, hey, I was raped by this guy right here on January the 1st. I asked for help, but it's not going anywhere. So this is why she brought it to social media. As you can see, number one, the girl was finna leave. She wanted to go, but Kai told her, hey, you will be safe upstairs. Go up there and, you know, take a nap because she was drunk. So the girl said she ended up falling asleep because she thought she would be safe or whatever the case may be. But then as number two, the alleged rapist came in the room and raped her while she was asleep. So he brutally raped her allegedly until she bled. And she says when she woke up, he was still on top of her and she called him out as a rapist. And he was like, hey, I did it because you were in my bed, which gives you no excuse to do that to anybody, especially while they are asleep. So she says she was in shock and she she ended up calling texting her friend who she thought you know which was Kai about it but she got no answer and she was told by the alleged rapist that he had left when she found out later that he didn't so the guy asked her could she just keep it a secret but at that time she was you know just traumatized about the whole situation she asked him did he use a condom he then proceeded to show her a dirty condom and then there's a lot of people who are saying girl if you just got raped when you be screaming or whatever the case may be or uh, why would you ask to see a condom you don't know what you would do in that situation your mind's probably just shot you're drunk you wake up, somebody's on top of you. You can't say what you would do because sometimes your mind goes into a state of shock when somebody does that to you. So for people to say, why didn't you scream? Why didn't you fight back? Why didn't you this? You can't say what you would have did and everybody acts different in certain situations. And so in her mind now, she's like, oh my God, did you use a condom? Did you do this? Because you just don't know, especially when it's your body. And then when you see the type of man it was, I look, she's thinking, okay, is he dirty? Uh, if he's done this with me, he probably did it with somebody else. It's just a lot of emotions are going at that moment. So she said she spent all day processing that. She ended up going to get like, you know, a rape kit done at the hospital, whatever case and be whoop, whoop, whoop. So never gonna move on to the Texas. So she described who the person was to Kai and he said he didn't know who it was, whatever the case may be. But then she said she did digging up her own and she ended up finding him. And she realized that they had been friends for years. So we're gonna go to these messages right here. She's saying she's not doing this for Cloud. She just wants the guy to be in jail. She also followed up with after this. She's not even suing him because you know, a lot of people will sue. But she's like, I don't even wanna sue. I just want him in jail. And after this, I will delete my social medias because I don't even want this type of Cloud. This is not the Cloud I want. And that's what made me kind of believe her because like, you know, after this, people will keep it because everybody's going to come to her page to see what's the next move. What's going on? Did they find them? What's she going to say next? But she said, you know, after that, I delete my shit. I don't even care about that. So that's what made me be like, okay, maybe this girl ain't lying. And then when she started showing the text messages, she was literally talking to Kai. She was like, hey, look, this is the guy who did it. Do you know who he is? What's his name? Can you give it to me? And Kai was literally giving her the runaround, like, Huh? I'm looking on it. I'm checking. I'm trying to get both sides of the story. This, that, I don't know him. But then when she shows who he was and showed they friends, oh my God, are you crazy? This, is that. Like, nigga, just tell me something. Do you know him or not? What is going on? Why can't you just be up front and tell me? I'm asking you. I'm showing you. I'm proving you to who it was, but you're not telling me anything. Like, it's like, are you trying to protect this person? So then Kai goes live and this is what he says. I started talking to her December 31st, 2022, going into the new year of January 1st, 2023. Um, um, okay. People, people keep getting the narrative that like uh, she, she uh, kept saying like uh, this is my friend, friend. She kept using the friend word a lot, right? Uh, people keep thinking that like it was if uh, if she's saying friend, they must have knew each other way back. No, that's not what it is. Also, I want to go ahead and say, Jovi, I'm not here to bash you or nothing. This is very serious. I'm the person being accused, Jiggy, Jiggy, right? How do I know him? I know him. I never said he wasn't my friend. I know him. I he went to high school with me. Um, and you know what I'm saying is a friend that I genuinely know. Okay. This is somebody I, my team legally told me, Kai, don't say nothing. Okay. Jovi. First things first, Jovi. I understand everything that's going on right now. I, I'm here to help to see what the happened. I've been accused of this being set up, being set up. And I knew what was going on. Negative, negative. That's disgusting. Negative. Like, bro, 
I, that's the reason why I'm kind of mad because I've been accused that I knew everything that was happening at the time negative, okay? I don't know shit that went down that night. I wasn't there, okay? I wasn't physically there, okay? Jovi, although my team contacted you and say and said that Kai is not able to talk at this time, okay? They said that to you. You was aware that I was muted, but you still went to the internet. I'm not here to blame you. You got to the internet first. They uh, do the assumptions. My name got dragged, okay? And it's fine. I gotta go. I, this is what this is what being at such a stature gonna come with, okay? You was, you was, um, my team, what the hell I tell you? Yo, Kai is not able to talk right now. Don't, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, he, he, he don't expect nothing from coming for him. He's not able to. This is all legal. Once this is brought to my attention, it is now an As soon as I got the information, chat, I went straight to my friend, the person that you see getting posted. I said, bro, what the fuck am I hearing right now, gang? Y'all know I can't, bro. When you, bro, I have a select few of people that I call my friend for real, for real, bro. I address them. I say, yo, bro, what the fuck is this? When you see, you can see the text messages. When she sent the photo, you can see me react as in, it's him? Like, I legit, I legit, I'm telling y'all what it is. I know him. So I'm, I went to him immediately. I said, yo, bro, what the fuck you got going on? What am I hearing right now, bro? You feel me? What am I hearing right now about shit that's going on? Chat. As soon as he heard her side of the story, I'm representing her, bro. She's hurt. She's hurt, bro. I don't play that. I went, I went to her, to him. I said her story, complete shock. He was in complete shock. He don't know. I'm telling you, my perspective, I'm not defending anybody. I'm not defending anybody. I don't know what happened. I am in the same boat as my viewers. I'm in the same boat as y'all. I don't know what the f happened. But let me go ahead and say something. The person that's associated with me, I knew this guy. I'm not defending him once again. I knew this guy for a very long time. We went on multiple trips. You feel what I'm saying? Never was this. Uh, he's not that type of person. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm not saying none of that. I'm not defending nobody because, bro, the way she was crying to me on that phone, bro, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I know how he looked. Scars on the face. Dreads. You feel me? That's for the law. If That's for the law to handle, though. That's none of y'all business at all. None of y'all business at all. Okay? Now... I'm here to help. I'm, I'm here to see what the facts is. Because whatever the facts is, bro, I swear to God, I'm, bro, I haven't spoke to him since it happened. I've stepped aside from him and her. Now, to me, I just feel like if your team told you not to say anything or to respond, the best thing that you should have did, I feel, was tell her, hey, I can't say anything, but I saw what you said. I'm sorry that this happened to you. And um, if you want, I can give you my team's number and you can talk to them because now that my name is brought into it, I want to make sure I protect me and you as well. So do you want to talk to them? But to just say, I'm checking on it. I'm working on it. I'm figuring it out. But then you're giving me nothing. Like, how can you tell a, a rape victim just wait a minute. Just no. They want those answers now. They want that person put up now because they feel like if it goes too long, like is anything gonna happen? Is he gonna get away? You know, like are they gonna say you should have reported it sooner? Like she just wants to make sure she gets everything she needs to get before these people start making up stories, covering their tracks, coming up with lies. So. I feel he could have just said, hey, I can't voice on anything right now because I'm involved in the mix and my team is telling me not to, but you can talk to my team instead of leaving her on the runaround when you're the one that invited her there. You're the one that told her to go upstairs when she said she wanted to leave, but you told her she would be safe upstairs. And then when she asked you who came to the door, you said the only person who came to the door was somebody else, but then he left. So now she's like, okay, well, somebody came in after him. But why would another guy go in that, that, that guy's room? I don't know. At the end of the day, I just feel he should have communicated with her more and better so she could have an understanding with what was going on. But to say, I'm trying to get both sides or I'm working on it, give me time. Oh my God, you're crazy. And you're trying to say, I know him and I don't know him and you're putting me in on it. You gotta understand she's, she's hurting. She's traumatized, she's over it. So she's just like, I, at this point, I need to get to the bottom of it myself then.
So anyway, y'all tell me what you think in the comments. I hate this had to happen to this young lady. And um, hopefully justice gets served if all these alleged accusations are true. All righty. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next one, okay? We have Kayla B versus Moomoo. Now this is sad because this girl Moomoo don't even want to fight. So why are we fighting somebody that we already know don't fight? That's crazy to me. Because if y'all remember, they fought back in February. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> it was on that same day that they fought this time. <laughs> somebody were the girl. Somebody said, girl, not to fight in a not the fight anniversary, <laughs> the reunion. <laughs> Not the girls fighting on the same day. <laughs> that is really something. Imagine fighting somebody and your man letting you fight and not protect you. And then also imagine you're fighting somebody over a man that don't even want you. So this is crazy like, at this point, he the problem. He is the problem. Because I remember in the old fight, did she say, every time he talks shit, I'm going to beat your ass? So he must have said something. <laughs> she better leave that man alone. That man that man is going to get her ass whooped every time. So they went to Twitter and they said what they had to say. She was like, you still can't hang with me, even with training. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The girl said, look, you got it. <laughs> Let's move on. Animals belong in the cage. I'm just happy she fought back this time. Last time she just kept screaming, get her off me. But this time she did, you know, try to hold her on. But I still think it's sad that Kayla B is fighting somebody that she know don't really want to fight her. Because I ain't going to say nothing, but word on the curve is, where was all this same energy when Suki came for you? That's what the girls are saying over there in the corner. They said, where was that energy with Suki? They said, when Suki called you out, you was gone for a couple of weeks on the end. You don't want to fight, fool? I don't know. I don't even. I ain't got to do it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they think getting that feel with Suki, girl. But, girl. Mm -hmm. But in Kelly Defense, she did send Suki to location, but Suki wanted to pay her to fight, but in gloves. And Kayla, I guess they said Kelly didn't want to fight no gloves, girl. She wanted to fight for real, girl. I don't know, honey. It is what it is. This is really useless information. At this point, Kayla, go sign up for the army. <laughs> You got so much built up anger. You just so mad out of Just mad. Go fight somebody. Shoot a gun. I'll be down somebody keep beating me up, bitch. <laughs> Who gonna keep beating me up? <laughs> Girl. You think I'm gonna be the man that keep beating me up? <laughs> Baby, that car would have been in your car. <laughs> got me fucked up. No, ma'am. But if it ain't about me, I really keep key. When Moo Moo got her a uh, crack baby <laughs> in that case. Next one, duck at, we have Ebony versus London on the track. Now, Ebony, leave us alone. Leave, at this point, you're the problem. <laughs> you are the problem, and we're tired. We, we are tired. Nobody ever talks but you. Summer don't talk, London don't talk, his new girlfriend didn't talk. It's always you. Do you get, you and Asia need to be friends. Y'all can talk to each other, talk amongst each other and figure out each other's her trauma bond or something because at this point, y'all is stressing us out. Summer just dropped her babies. I bet she over there like, please leave me the fuck up out of this. I ain't got shit to do with you. She's saying the man still want to talk to her. He calling her, trying to send her over there. And they trying to take the baby away. And he want the child. And I can't believe he'll do this. And then she said, you might as well call the public and tell them that. And you assisted trying to take the Girl, you done pulled every car in the book. Girl, you used the black woman car. The snitch car. The take my kids away from me car. Girl, at this point, go get therapy. You, you need help. Because you're hurting let this hurt go, baby. You said you've been with this man for over 10. You said you've known him or been with him for over 10 years. Girl, you are hurting. Let it go. And if he's still talking to you like you saying he is, that's your fault. You keep letting him come back, man. If he's talking to you behind the scenes and not in public, but then want to play on your time behind the scenes, 
then girl, you can't blame nobody but yourself. Let them go. Let them go. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm just like, God damn, it's the ninth day of January. Can we at least get to March before you start acting like this? Shit, word on the curb. If you put this amount of energy for all your kids, like you do London, you would have all of them. <laughs> With it. Like, do you not understand what you're doing, girl? You want to tear down your baby daddy and all his relationships because he don't want you. Jesus, if it ain't about me, go get therapy. Next case! Next on the docket, we have Gucci Man and Keisha versus Big Scar's family. Uh, as y'all know, Big Scar passed away. Um, and he was an artist of Gucci Man. So the family came on the internet and they were trying to say Gucci said he wasn't gonna pay for the funeral. And child, he wanted the necklaces back. And I'm over here like, well, you're Gucci Man. You ain't got the money for a funeral. Really, he, which he didn't have to pay for it. That's not like his son or nephew. But if you offered to pay for it, I feel you should stand on your word. The minute that them folk called your phone to see if you were gonna pay for the funeral, you blocked them. That's not real, cuz. On God, that's not real. You ain't straight. You ain't straight. That's them folk. Come on now, cuz. You, 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 you plug. Oh, God, that ain't straight, cuz. You want her trying to act all real. You post the scar. Talking about some long live him, bro. You ain't do nothing, cuz. Oh, God. And you ain't getting them chains, cuz. You can't get them chains. There's no way you can get them chains. It ain't no way that's happening. Come on now, fool. You tripping, cuz. Thought we just gonna let that go, cuz no, it's over. You play, and we don't need your money. We don't need your money to pay for his front. He was gonna get buried either way. It's just a point that you supposed to be his CEO and you supposed to be this, this, and that, and you don't lie like that, cuz. How do you even feel? Bro, when they text you and ask you about Scott Funeral, cuz, you told them folks that, that, that Keisha birthday coming up. Now, y'all rich. Y'all can celebrate her birthday any day. Come on now, cuz. You playing with my brother like he just dead. Like, come on now, cuz. You playing what, well, bro? My brother just ain't no nigga you can. Nah, bro, my brother means something to us, nigga. What you mean? This ain't that and you not getting them chains, bro. So, I guess after um the family said what they said, y'all already know Keisha ain't playing about her man. She gonna step by Gucci and she gonna make sure she bring them receipts. That's a business woman, child. So Keisha came up, she showed the receipts that he paid for the funeral, $10,000. And uh, she said, and then on top of that, he sent flowers and I think something else, which took it up to what, $20,000, something like that, or 12, 20, whatever. It's enough. And so, yeah, the family talk about some damn, he ain't getting the necklaces back. If I was Gucci, I'd be like, child, keep them necklaces, honey. I don't even give a fuck about all that. I think y'all just want attention. And this is what the family said. This 10K ain't deep about bitch and rivers and flowers, boo. This ain't here with no little bitch and rivers and flowers, boo. 10K ain't my brother was way more worth, baby. My brother worth more than 10K. You Yeah, Goose's son, 10K. Goose's son, 10,000. And it was a, uh, somebody else on another 10. So it was 20,000 and all. And we didn't get the flowers. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. He need to get in the field about my brother. Like, the money don't even matter. You, you asking for the trains, baby. But anyway, the friend will get paid for regardless. That little ass money, that's why we said he ain't here because we I'm going to talk about that BMW posting receipts, none of this shit. Yeah, he's son 10,000. Like I said, Gucci ain't help with Like I said, Gucci ain't help with Gucci ain't help with shit. Gucci ain't help with shit. Gucci ain't help with shit. You talking about? I don't give a fuck about no receipts with no funk ass 10,000. They don't, they want enough. My brother, friend was 60K in all 10K. It's still fucking. It's still 
cute. It's still cute. What's what's ten to sixty? What's ten to sixty? What is ten k to sixty? And for you, something that he ain't had life insurance. He did have life insurance. Bitch. We made sure he was good. Yeah, we had life insurance. Gucci probably had some on him too, but y'all got him fucked up. My thing is, don't nobody got insurance no more? I mean, Gucci paying for is good. That's a nice gesture, but where is everybody's insurance? Y'all ain't got no insurance. But I don't know. What you say? Oh, y'all thought they just wanted the funeral money sent to them. Oh, so they wanted to get the 10000 in their hand. Got to do about it. Well, if it ain't about me, why do other people feel they're entitled to somebody else's money? Next game. All right, you guys, that's all I got for Mr. Monday. Um, Y'all keep sending the mess in to my Twitter and my Instagram, and we will continue to talk about it. So, yeah, I hope y'all are having a great start to your new year. I love y'all. Thank y'all for always returning and supporting me, and it means so much. With that being said, I will see you next Monday. Next game. Lot of going on, it's a whole lot, a lot of going on, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on.